Boom, what's going on? It's me, Gazbot, for Action Activate. And with me, as always, it is I, the big dog, mobile in beautiful Pasadena, California. For uh, oh, What are you doing in Pasadena, California? Well, I'm here for the thing they call Power Morphicon. Oh, it doesn't have the date. And we want updates about that. But first, let's talk about Power Week. Yes. So Power Week, um, there were a couple things we missed uh, from our last update, but also uh, just some new stuff announced in general. Um, so we went over the blue time force. We went over Snizzard. But what we didn't get to talk about was who we have in front of us, Zoe. Zoe, Beast Morphers Yellow, which everybody, including us, has been like, what the heck? I mean, we need Steel, too. But, like, Zoe, how do we not have Zoe? Yeah. yeah. I'm yeah. very stoked. I think, yeah, she looks awesome. I think this is very positive when it comes to Steel because Steel is just a cool ranger, whereas yeah, Zoe yeah. is a core team member. Right. Uh, and, and yeah, Steel could be slotted in, and it's one of those characters we talk about that could kind of go in other collections. Or you don't like yeah. Beast Morphers, but he's a cool robot and whatever, you know. Exactly. Uh, but, uh, and this is, I, I think this is a 3D render, but, you know, it looks pretty good. And then the yeah. other one that we completely missed, uh, I just had up a second ago, is we did say that they said it, but we didn't show the picture or talk you, about it. You get the ninja steel point. I uh, didn't remember as, as vividly as you. So, uh, yeah, so, you get it there. Um, keep filibustering. I'm adjusting my light. A little okay. Bit. Um, I, I it, This doesn't show a really close-up picture. I'm getting this from Toku Nation. Uh, there's Snizzard. It doesn't show a really close-up, but I think that the Yoshi as um, – Coda looks pretty good. And I think that the eyebrows help and the hair helps. Like he has like a distinctive look. So the actual likeness to the actor might be fine, mediocre, whatever, but like the character, it looks like the character and it's it does. Good. Yeah. I think both these head sculpts are very good, especially after we saw Time Force Blue, which yeah, is yeah. like one of the worst head sculpts we've seen, I think, since like Rocky. It's just not good. It's not good. Agreed. Um, so the other thing is, I think this is the new one, right? So we're we're caught up on the old stuff. Oh, well, I guess. They officially announced or re-announced or something, oh, yeah. Wild Force Blue, which we knew about, but... I think showing the civilian head was new, but we... Yeah, I lose track because it's like, yeah, we've seen this somewhere. I feel like, you know, when Robo yeah. talks about stuff, like, this was announced mm -hmm. some... Robo from uh, the Foosh, by the way. It's like, I guess this is the official announcement, but I've definitely seen these pictures before. Similarly, they were talking about um, Lost Galaxy Green and Adam Park Mighty Morphin Black, and I'm like... How, these are these new we, i've known about that for forever like so i don't know if that's actually technically part of power week they talked about it i guess but you know i didn't see it that way <laughs> we talked about the movie morpher um this is us showing it because we kind of did a on the fly kind of update right. the other day well, going like back to wild force um i think this is cool and it's good that they're doing wild force i don't know he would have been my first pick like thinking about who i would want i would have wanted uh yellow first personally I think what I'm kind of getting out of this is it seems like they feel like blue is the second most wanted outside of red or a sixth ranger. And like they're using that as the framework, but not putting the team into account. Cause like yes. for time force, it's like we got Wes and it's like, Oh, we should get Jen. So you get Lucas. Okay. Um, <laughs> in space you get TJ. Okay, cool. Thank you. And then with this, it's like, okay, sure. Yeah. Okay. I, I guess I'm thinking, yeah, because my my favorite character would, would go probably yellow, um, although you know decent red as well. I mean they're all fine, but uh, and then my favorite suit would be I forget if she's considered white or pink, but the cat white. suit. That's my favorite suit design from that team. Yeah. Wait a minute, that's not true. Lunar Wolf. We got Lunar Wolf, the six ranger. I told. That's what I'm saying. A red or a six. Yes. No, but I was I was having a brain fart where I was like, this is the first Wild Force we got because Lunar Wolf looks so different than the rest of the team. I yeah. Got. And I was getting Lunar Wolf regardless. So not counting Lunar Wolf, yellow would be my favorite character, and white would be my favorite suit. Yeah, it's one of those that like after I just said, don't do blue every time. Um. From a character Wild Force perspective, this is not one of the ones I would have picked next. From a actor that I got to speak with that I like perspective, I'm glad Phil got a Ranger that he gets to sign now. Absolutely. And, and I want all of the character to be done eventually. Honestly, what would make me more excited to get this figure is if it came in a two-pack with Black. Because the two of yeah. them were such a little duo that, like, getting him now, even though I want... It's like, well, where's Black? Because you got, you know... Yeah, and it's a thing, too. I'm curious why they don't 
do more ranger two packs like they've done two packs but it's never been two rangers together maybe because they feel like rangers sell better than villains but if you look at it i mean this is a not the best example but the jason san diego comic-con two pack like was wildly popular and successful no right i think they're using two packs to sell things that they're less sure of you know that the, the villain figures that they're not so sure so they pack a ranger in and the villain is all new tooling whereas the ranger is just a new head and paint but like the, the scorpina yellow ranger yellow ranger was hard to get and scorpina is brand new and and people wanted it that's like oh it's two things we want what else would we want two rangers on a team uh, I agree to disagree. I understand why they do it. I'm not. I'm not even saying if like this is what I want or whatever. But if it helps us get more villains, which is what I think is happening, then I'm fine with it. Um, there was, was there something else we missed uh, before? Do, the tra- when did the trailer drop? Did that drop Thursday or Friday? Oh, the trailer was yesterday. Good call. Okay, so the the leak was, and we're gonna get into spoilers for Dino yes. Fury season two part two. Yes, uh, it's a spoiler in the sense that it's been released and we've seen it. But if you want to go in fresh, like for episode know. fourteen specifically, yes, and it's just a few seconds. We're not going to put it up here. Spoilers coming. Spoilers coming. They confirm that Lord Zed is coming back, which we knew from the internet, uh, but they show it, and he's with Scrozzle, which was hoped and suspected, but never confirmed until now. And where are they? They oh oh they're on uh, the planet that Rathcon. Rathcon, thank you, that Zato is from. Right, and they're they're looking for the source of the Sporks. And then, and it's a really cool scene where you're like, oh, and the, the Rangers are there, and what's going on? The only thing that mars it a little bit is, you know, well, let's just not get negative, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> on brand, I guess. Yeah, yeah. It, the Some of the Rangers' activities were not as, as good as the, the villains' activities. Yeah, the only other thing that we're specifically not covering from Power Week is they did an interview with Ryan Parrott specifically yeah. related to the comics. Yeah. He's crazy behind. I'm slightly behind. I'm still trying to finish while I'm, you know, down here to catch up so I can watch like a panel of it. I watched but... the beginning just where the interviewer, I forget her name, like was like, I, I asked if I could be the one interview. And he's like, that's fun. And they kind of talked for a few minutes. And then they started talking about the stories. I'm like, I'm done. I don't want to watch this. Yeah. Also, yeah, so... I- I skipped a lot of the Street Fighter stuff because I already knew the Ryu Ranger and the Chun-Li Ranger were going to be coming out, and I kind of knew what they looked like, so I skipped that. But you watched it. Yes, so I watched it. It was a lot of that, um, a lot of gushing about that. I think both designs are cool. They said it was very important to get the um, proper effects. They said that they aren't having these effects be gloss, which was a conscious decision, um, which was kind of cool. And then they are using new legs for Chun-Li, which is something we had brought up because she has right. thicker legs in the in the game. And you could tell, like, to me... I was wondering, are they, like, male legs or legs I, from a non... Or I thought they- the same thing. They said they're new, okay. and I don't know if they, like, used wordplay where it's new to female figures where it's right. male legs, or if it's, like, specifically new, like, now we have three kinds of legs. We have right. beaten ones, we have less beaten like... Who knows? But overall, still excited for these. Gonna get them. It's fine. Could it have been a little bit more perfect in terms of Chun Li's body shape? Yes. But this is much better than I thought it was going to be. And I do love that kicking effect part. You're still getting them. I'm still not. You know what? Also, I realized I'm getting shades for for both of these, but especially for of Akiba Ranger, with the design, <laughs> especially with those little tassel things up there. Yeah. Are very Chun Li, obviously. But honestly, you could make a team of five uh, Akiba Rangers with the two of them joining. That'd be kind of cool. That's true. That is true. Um, but that was kind of it for the Power Week updates. Um, oh, no, that's not true at all. Because we got another new one today that they just oh. announced that I don't think we talked about. Show me. Lay it on me. The daggers. The yellow. Oh, yeah. That's right. Yeah, so, um, good. out of all the weapons they've released for MMPR, these are my favorites. I agree. Yeah. I mean, they're my favorite weapon in the lore or whatever. But Exactly. They, it's we I don't like it it's so odd to see this weapon and it looks like something to be fun to handle and it's got a nice stand and it's just like yeah yeah okay and it's like oh they're really gonna do the power blaster wait is it yes. power blaster yeah they're really yeah. gonna do it because they, they just keep going down the list um they are pretty pricey from what I recall they, yeah they, all of them are pricey yeah but at this point I don't plan on getting any this would be the front runner. If someone said you could have one for free, I'll take this one. Yeah. Um, I would, if I only could get one, I'd probably get the ax just because like, I feel like an updated ax would be really cool. Um, I want the power sword, but because we have the other one to compare it to, I want the old one more. Right. And I'm um, thinking since I'm not getting the full set, 
Uh, yeah. These would look cool on my shelf by themselves. And and like yeah. the And they're cat related. What? And they're cat related. And they're cat related, yeah. And uh, $130. Not cheap, but you know, it, it's cool they're doing it. Uh, yeah. I think that's all the uh, right now it's 1:45 p.m. California time on Friday. I think that's all they've announced. It's possibly missed something. Tell us below if we did and you know, we'll circle back. Yeah. But uh but I think that's it for Power Week. And they were the verbiage they were using was like we're wrapping up Power Week. But we talked before about like isn't it going all weekend through Power Week? It Morphicon? technically is going till Sunday and this is that weird thing where it's like are you guys considering Morphicon as Power Week? But if because they are, then they, they should are. be having announcements directly from Hasbro or from their yeah. representatives, you know, either on Hasbro's Pulse site or web, you know, YouTube page, or at Morphicon, they'll have a panel where Hasbro people come out and say, "Here's what's going on." But that's we don't know yet. Um, yeah. But I think we should make your Power Morphicon Day Zero report its own video. So if we're done with Power Week, I think we should stop here, and then do another video for that because not everybody's interested in both things yes if you made it this far in the video yeah. um thank you uh we're going to talk about morphicon in a separate video but i will give a teaser that is Operation even Overdrive is my favorite season thank That's you so much. Uh, no i'm going to do a uh a hotel comic review oh. that uh no one is really aware of oh and, uh, and and uh, you know, catching up on uh, that, I haven't read it yet, and I'm I'm a little excited. I'm a little excited and a little jealous. But check out the next video for that, and uh, that's it for Power Week. And I'm Gazbot. You are the big dog. And until next time, to the power. The power. No end credits. None. Get out.